So in this one, we're gonna add a little customization to our Django admin. That is, we're gonna allow us to search things and display things slightly different. And this is all coming off of the documentation for something called model admin, which we'll set up. But this documentation is what we're gonna be working off of. So it's under um, contrib admin, model admin options. Again, you can Google Django model admin options and it'll take you to this documentation. Um, so let's go ahead and create a model admin here. I'm gonna do class. So this is, of course is in admin.py for our posts app. And I'm gonna do class post admin. And it's gonna be admin.modeladmin. So model admin, of course, is referring to the model. It's referring to the post model itself. So what we're importing here is we actually have to use the post model for post or for model admin to work. So we also need to set the model itself. So we're gonna do class meta and model equals to post. And then since we have this post admin created now, we have to bring it in with this admin site register and put it in here with post itself. So this now connects the post model with the post model admin. So we could just call this post model admin to make it even more explicit. But basically we're taking the post model and post model admin to work together. If I just do this, nothing really changes. So going back in here and refresh, it looks the exact same. So let's see what our options can be. So if we go into our model admin options, we have a, quite a few things in here. I wanna look for a list display. And if we see our model uh, admin options down here, we get one called list display. So let's try list display out. And I'll do list display equals to, and I'll do first off two underscores for Unicode. And then I will do the timestamp. Save that, refresh in here. And now what I see is the post itself and then timestamp actually showing up. So it gives me a little bit more data. And of course, these are coming off of the field, so you could use title here instead of Unicode. And notice the title is still selectable, which is nice. Um, but list display, then we also have timestamp. We can also have updated. We refresh in here, and now we see updated, right? So we have two different ones, and you can change the ordering based on those things as well, as well as the title. So let's add a new post in here and say new post and new content, save. So we can change how this works, right? Just gives us some functionality that we might want um, as far as our display is concerned. Let's go back in the admin and do some more stuff. Cut, close out that search filter. Um, so if we scroll down a little bit, we have, we have the next one of list display links. So which ones do we wanna link? So we could say, we could just say updated. So we go back in here, we refresh, and that's now the link. It's no longer on the title. It's now on the updated portion. Um, all right, so that's cool. We could also do list filter. And I'm gonna put this as updated and timestamp. We will refresh in here. And now we have a filtering function. So I can actually filter based off of, you know, our filters, the, the timestamp itself. It's gonna filter and notice the URL up here changes quite a bit, but it is at least filtering so we can have a little bit more of a dynamic admin. So the next thing would be searchable. So if we did search, we just typed out search. We can press enter a few times and we get search fields come up. So search fields, we can actually have fields that are searchable. So in this case, we would do probably title and content. So then back in our post, I could say content here. So we had a post that said new content. So here's our, that post is this one. So it says new content, ABC, one, two, three. Save that. And now if we do a search for that, it will actually search that and keep those filters going. So if we did, they got rid of the filters, the search changes quite a bit. Uh, it does have the ordering there. Um, so we've got our ordering and our filters coming through. If I got rid of those things, I could just do ABC123 again, and now it just doesn't have ordering, it just has the query that's being searched. Cool, so these are things that the admin does, and the reason I'm showing you how I, uh, this little like kind of shortcut of searching for these things, is because what you're gonna wanna do 
when you're doing it is checking out the actual documentation and trying to see if there's different things that you want to adjust and change for the model admin options. There's definitely a lot of options here that we're just not going to go into, but um, that's essentially what you'll be doing. You can also have editable. So there's an editable one. So we can do list editable. This one is also pretty useful. And I'm going to put this right here. So items that you can actually edit. So I'm just going to put title, refresh in here. And now I can edit the title. So this was is why you might want to have a different link than the title because if you have the title linked as well as editable, you won't be able to click on it. So we'll say post two, I hit save, and now it has a different title. I can get rid of my results and now I can change any of these at the same time. So I can change all of them. I can also do that with timestamp. So let's say for, or not timestamp, but I, if once I do a publish date, I can also have those types of things as well. Um, so there's a lot of really cool stuff that's going on here with the admin. And what we want to do now is start to move towards building something like this that we can use on our site and not use the admin. So if you have any questions on this stuff, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.